Did you know that the renowned Mark Wahlberg, formerly known as Marky Mark, dropped out of school at the tender age of 13? Or that this in turn led to his addiction to hard drugs at this same age? In the glitzy world of Hollywood elites, today we open the curtains on the shocking story of Mark Wahlberg and his transformation from delinquent to famed actor. Mark Robert Michael Wahlberg, formerly known by his stage name Marky Mark, is an American actor. His work as a leading man spans the comedy, drama and action genres. He has received multiple accolades, including a BAFTA Award and nominations for two Academy Awards, three Golden Globe Awards, nine Primetime Emmy Awards, and three Screen Actors Guild Awards. Wahlberg was born in Boston, Massachusetts. As a youth, he was involved in a number of violent and racially motivated attacks. He gained notability as a member of the hip-hop group Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch in the 1990s with whom he released the albums Music for the People, 1991, and You Gotta Believe, 1992. Wahlberg made his screen debut in Renaissance Man, 1994, and had his first starring role in Fear, 1996. He received critical praise for his performance as porn actor Dirk Diggler in Boogie Nights, 1997. In the early 2000s, Wahlberg ventured into big-budget action movies such as The Perfect Storm, 2000, Planet of the Apes, 2001, and The Italian Job, 2003. He was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for playing a police officer in the crime drama The Departed, 2006. Wahlberg was nominated for the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor for portraying Mickey Ward in the sports drama biopic The Fighter, 2010. During the 2010s, he landed successful comedy roles with the other guys, 2010, Ted, 2012, Ted 2, 2015, Daddy's Home, 2015, and Daddy's Home 2, 2017. Wahlberg also became the protagonist in two films in the Transformers live-action film franchise, Transformers Age of Extinction and Transformers The Last Night. He was the world's highest paid actor in 2017. Wahlberg served as executive producer of five HBO series, the comedy drama Entourage 2004 to 2011, the period crime drama Boardwalk Empire 2010 to 2014, the comedy dramas How to Make It in America 2010 to 2011 and Ballers 2015 to 2019 and the documentary Macmillions 2020. He is co-owner of the Wall Burgers chain and co-starred in the reality TV series about it. Wahlberg received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2010. Though he is now a multi-millionaire movie star with an odd daily schedule, Mark Wahlberg was once a really bad boy who got involved in drugs and criminal activity and even faced jail time for racially charged crimes years before he starred in movies like The Departed, The Perfect Storm or The Fighter. In fact, Wahlberg was headed in one direction only before he found brief success as a musician with Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Born into a large family and a poor neighborhood, Wahlberg was the youngest of nine children and his parents divorced when he was young. At the age of 13, Wahlberg is said to have developed a cocaine addiction. In 1994, Mark Wahlberg made his big screen debut in the movie Renaissance Man. He has worked in the entertainment business for about 30 years and even longer if you include his other entertainment ventures, which we'll discuss a little later. Fans of Marky Mark are unlikely to be unaware of anything or unable to learn about with a little bit of investigation. Still, as you will soon discover, Mark has more than a few skeletons in his closet. Everyone has some. Wahlberg has experienced everything, from rising to become one of the most popular and oddly endearing rap singers of all time, to landing big-budget roles in successful blockbusters like Mile 22 and the Transformers series. Without further ado, let's dive into one of Hollywood's most prominent actor, 
Mark Robert Michael Wahlberg was born on June 5, 1971, in the Dorchester neighborhood of Boston, Massachusetts. He is the youngest of nine children, including actor Robert and singer-actor Donny. His mother, Alma Elaine, née Donnelly, 1942-2021, was a bank clerk and a nurse's aide, and his father, Donald Edmund Wahlberg Sr., 1930-2008, was a U.S. Army veteran of the Korean War. After his parents divorced in 1982, he divided his time between them. Wahlberg's father was of Swedish and Irish descent. His mother was of Irish, English and French-Canadian ancestry. On his mother's side of the family, he is distantly related to author Nathaniel Hawthorne. Wahlberg was raised Catholic and attended Copley Square High School on Newbury Street in Boston. As a teenager in 1986 and 1988, Wahlberg took part in some racially motivated attacks. In June 1986, a 15-year-old Wahlberg and three friends chased after three black children while yelling, kill the nigger, kill the nigger, and throwing rocks at them. The next day, Wahlberg and the others followed a group of mostly black fourth graders, including one of the victims from the previous day, taking a field trip on a beach, yelled racial epithets, threw rocks at them, and summoned other white males who joined in the harassment. In August 1986, civil action was filed against Wahlberg for violating the civil rights of his victims, and Wahlberg and his friends were issued a civil rights injunction which served as a warning that they would be jailed if they committed another hate crime. In April 1988, Wahlberg, then 16, assaulted a middle-aged Vietnamese-American man on the street, calling him a Vietnam fucking shit and knocking him unconscious with a large wooden stick. Later the same day, he attacked Johnny Trin, another Vietnamese-American, punching him in the eye. When Wahlberg was arrested and returned to the scene of the first assault, he told police officers, I'll tell you now, that's the motherfucker whose head I split open. Later, Wahlberg would explain that he was on PCP at the time. Investigators also noted that Wahlberg made numerous unsolicited racial statements about gooks and slant-eyed gooks. He was initially arrested for attempted murder. He was charged with two counts of assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, one count of marijuana possession, and criminal contempt for violating the prior civil rights injunction he received in 1986. He pleaded guilty to felony assault and was sentenced to three months in jail, but served only 45 days of his sentence. Wahlberg believed he had left the second victim permanently blind in one eye, though Trin later said that he had lost his eye during the Vietnam War while serving in the South Vietnamese Army, which fought alongside American forces. In August 1992, Wahlberg fractured the jaw of his neighbor Robert Crehan in an attack. Court documents state that in 1992, Wahlberg, without provocation or cause, viciously and repeatedly kicked Crehan in the face, while another man, Derek McCall, held the victim on the ground. Wahlberg's attorney claimed that Wahlberg and McCall, who is black, were provoked after McCall was called a racial slur by Crehan. The lawsuit was settled between the two parties, avoiding a criminal trial. In 2006, Wahlberg said the right thing for him to do would be to meet with Trin and make amends. In 2014, Wahlberg applied for a pardon from the state of Massachusetts for his convictions, which engendered controversy. According to the BBC, the debate about his suitability for a pardon raised difficult issues, with the arguments on both sides being far-reaching and complex. Wahlberg later said he regretted the attempt to obtain a pardon, and his petition was closed after he failed to answer a request from the pardon board as to whether he wanted it to remain open. In 2016, Wahlberg said he had met with Trin and apologized for those horrific acts. Trin released a public statement forgiving Wahlberg. The decision to change his life brought him back to music as during his stay in Wahlberg first came to fame as the younger brother of Donnie Wahlberg of the successful boy band New Kids on the Block. Donnie Wood, Jordan Knight, Jonathan Knight 
and Joey McIntyre all joined the group after Mark had left. In 1990, Wahlberg began recording with dancers, rappers Scott Ross, Scotty G, Hector Barros, Hector the Booty Inspector, Anthony Thomas, Ashley Ace, and Terry Yancey, DJT, as Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, earning a hit with good vibrations from their debut album, Music for the People. The record, produced by brother Donny, hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100, later becoming certified as a platinum single. The second single, Wild Side, peaked at number five on Billboard's Hot Singles Sales Chart, Citation Needed, and at number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100. It was certified as a gold single. Marky Mark opened for the new kids on the block during their last tour. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch also had their own video game titled Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch Make My Video, which despite the band's success was a huge flop. The second Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch LP, you gotta believe, was not as successful as the first, yielding only a minor hit single in the title track. In December 1992, while performing on the British TV show The Word, Wahlberg praised Shabba Ranks, who had stated gay people should be crucified. Glad condemned him and berated Calvin Klein for using him to promote their products. Wahlberg later collaborated with the late reggae raga singer Prince Ital Joe on the album Life in the Streets. The project combined rap vocals, electronic-infused raga, and European dance floor music, delivering the singles Happy People, German number one hit United, Life in the Streets, and Babylon, with Peterson and Christensen as producers. Many of these tracks featured on the film Renaissance Man, starring Wahlberg and Danny DeVito. In 1995, he released a single titled No Mercy in support of his friend Dariusz Michalczewski, whom he had befriended earlier in the 1990s. Michalczewski also appears in the music video of the song. Wahlberg and Prince Ital Joe released another album in 1995 for Ultraphonic Records, titled The Remix Album. It featured remixes from the duo's previous album, Life in the Streets, as well as Mark's solo track, No Mercy. After his album with Ital Joe became a hit in Germany, he started putting together a musical act called One Love With Him as its producer and also sometimes its lead singer. He also started production on a third studio album. He featured in their song titled That's The Way I Like It. In 1996, Wahlberg returned to Hamburg to record a solo single titled Hey DJ with producer Tony Cotura. Two more solo tracks titled Feel the Vibe and Best of My Love were released in 1997. In 2000, he was featured in the Black Label Society music video for Counterfeit God as a stand-in for the band's bassist. Wahlberg first displayed his physique in the Good Vibrations music video and most prominently in a series of underwear ads for Calvin Klein, 1992, shot by Herb Ritz, following it with Calvin Klein television advertisements. Shouts goes out to my man Calvin Klein, good looking out for the drawers. Not saying I would do another Fruit of the Loom commercial or nothing like that, because they don't make the hype shorts. These, these are the 90s, man. They just fit good and they hold, hold me snug, so. If I'm about to go get some skins, I'm not gonna put on like no silk underwear. Oh, she got freckles. Uh, 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 uh. Next question. Magazine and television promotions sometimes featured Wahlberg exclusively or accompanied by model Kate Moss. Annie Leibovitz also shot a famous session of Wahlberg in underwear for Vanity Fair's annual Hall of Fame issue. He also made a workout video titled The Marky Mark Workout, Form, Focus, Fitness. In 1993, Wahlberg made his acting debut in the television film The Substitute. After this appearance, he dropped the Marky Mark name his big screen debut came the next year with the Danny DeVito feature Renaissance Man. A basketball fanatic, he caught the attention of critics after appearing alongside Leonardo DiCaprio in The Basketball Diaries, 1995. A film adaptation of the Jim Carroll book of the same name, playing the role of Mickey. 
he had his first starring role in James Foley's thriller film, Fear, 1996. He earned positive reviews after films such as Boogie Nights, Three Kings, The Perfect Storm, and Four Brothers. During the early 2000s, Wahlberg appeared in remakes of 1960s films such as Planet of the Apes, The Truth About Charlie, a remake of the 1963 film Charade, and The Italian Job. His performance in I Heart Huckabees was voted the best supporting performance of the year in the 2004 The Village Voice Critics Poll. Wahlberg was originally cast as Linus Caldwell in Ocean's Eleven, but Matt Damon played the role instead. The two later worked together in The Departed. Wahlberg was also considered for a role in the film Brokeback Mountain. It was originally intended to star Wahlberg and Joaquin Phoenix, with whom he appeared in the 2000 film The Yards, as Ennis Del Mar and Jack Twist, respectively, but both actors were uncomfortable with the film's sex scenes. The roles ultimately went to Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal, both of whom were nominated for Academy Awards for their performances. Wahlberg starred in the American football drama Invincible, based on the true story of bartender Vince Papale. He was also the executive producer of the HBO series Entourage, 2004-2011, which was loosely based on his experiences in Hollywood. In 2006, he appeared as Sean Dignam, an unpleasant, foul-mouthed Massachusetts State Police Staff Sergeant in Martin Scorsese's critically acclaimed thriller, The Departed, which netted him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor, a Golden Globe nomination for Best Performance by an Actor in a Supporting Role in a Motion Picture, and a National Society of Film Critics Best Supporting Actor Award. Wahlberg was reunited with his The Basketball Diaries co-star, Leonardo DiCaprio. Despite his felony conviction, which legally prohibits him from handling firearms, Wahlberg prepared for his role in Shooter by attending long-range shooting training at Front Sight Firearms Training Institute near Pahrump, Nevada. He was able to hit a target at 1,100 yards on his second day, a feat which usually takes weeks to achieve. He had said in a number of interviews that he would retire at the age of 40 to concentrate on parenthood and professional golf. However, in early 2007, he indicated that the latter was no longer the plan as his golf game is horrible. He played Jack Salmon, the father of the protagonist, Susie in Peter Jackson's The Lovely Bones, a film adaptation of the Alice Siebold book of the same name. In 2007, he starred opposite Joaquin Phoenix in We Own the Night, a movie about a family of police officers in New York City. He starred in M. Night Shyamalan's The Happening as Elliot Moore, which premiered in movie theaters on June 13, 2008. The same year, he played the title role in Max Payne, based on the video game of the same name. While promoting Max Payne, Wahlberg became involved in a playful feud with the Lonely Island's Andy Samberg. Samberg had done an impression of Wahlberg in a Saturday Night Live sketch titled Mark Wahlberg Talks to Animals. Wahlberg later appeared in a follow-up sketch, parodying the original one, Samberg's impression of Wahlberg and his own threats to Samberg. In 2010, Wahlberg starred with Will Ferrell in the buddy cop film, The Other Guys. In 2012, he starred in Seth MacFarlane's hit comedy, Ted, reprising the same role in its 2015 sequel. Wahlberg later starred as Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell in the war film, Lone Survivor. 2013, based on Luttrell's 2007 book of the same name. The film received commercial success and mostly positive reviews, and Wahlberg's performance was highly praised. In 2014, Wahlberg starred in the remake of The Gambler, the 1974 James Kahn film that was loosely inspired by the Dostoevsky novella. In 2014, Wahlberg was the producer of the reality show Breaking Boston, which was pulled off the air after its premiere had 311,000 viewers. 
the executive produced one episode of Wahlburgers while co-starring in it. Wahlberg also starred in two films in the Transformers live-action film franchise, Transformers Age of Extinction 2014 and Transformers The Last Night 2017. In 2015, he starred opposite Will Ferrell in the comedy Daddy's Home, reprising his role in the 2017 sequel. In 2016, he starred in two Peter Berg films, Deepwater Horizon, a film about the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill, and Patriot's Day, a film about the 2013 Boston Marathon bombing. Wahlberg topped the list of the world's highest paid actors in 2017, in 2018, his salary of $1.5 million for the reshoots for All the Money in the World stirred a gender pay gap controversy, as his co-star Michelle Williams had received less than $1,000 for the same reshoots. Wahlberg donated the money to the Time's Up Initiative, a movement against sexual harassment co-founded by Williams. Wahlberg produced and starred in the espionage film Mile 22, 2018, and appeared in the Netflix film Spencer Confidential 2020 and the animated movie Scoob 2020, which was his first voice acting role. In 2022, Wahlberg starred in the Uncharted film as Victor Sullivan, having originally been cast to play Nathan Drake years prior. Mark had an extreme daily routine, including two-phase training, which starts at half past three in the morning. Mark Wahlberg also gained respect with his extreme daily routine, which he published in 2018. His day begins at half past three in the morning. Because of his religion, he devotes 30 minutes to prayer after hygiene. About half an hour after breakfast, he devotes an hour and a half to exercise. Then there is another meal, shower, golf, and a snack. He then spends some time regenerating in the form of cryotherapy. It is very popular amongst athletes who use it to relieve muscle and joint pain. This is followed by another snack and two hours of time, which is devoted to his family, meetings, or work calls. Then he has an hour set aside for lunch, which is alternated by another meetings or phone calls. At 3 p.m., he has to pick up his children from school followed by another snack, second training, shower, and dinner. In his schedule, dinner takes up two hours of his time, as it is another part of the day which he spends with his family. That's where Mark Wahlberg's day ends, and he goes to bed at 7.30, just so he can go through this routine again. He sacrificed his athletic body to the role of a former obese boxer. In 2021, Wahlberg's extreme routine is a thing of the past. He was preparing for a role in his new movie, Stew, which demanded a slightly different transformation. He plays a retired boxer who became a priest, and his role required him to gain weight quickly. Not only that, but he also published his transformation on Instagram, where he also thanked the chef who took care of his caloric intake. Mark's task for the job was to gain about 13 pounds and switch from 2,000 to 7,000 calories intake. His diet allegedly consisted of eight meals. It was set up so that Mark would not go to extremes like his colleague Christian Bale, but to gain weight in the healthiest way possible. He ate roughly every three hours and his diet was full of complex carbohydrates, protein and a lot of eggs. After two weeks with a daily intake of 7,000 kilo calorie, the actor went into the second phase, where his intake increased to 11,000 kilo calorie over the following two weeks. Wahlberg himself was excited about these plans at first because he could finally indulge in whatever he wanted. But later, he said that it was fun for just a little while because receiving such amount of calories wasn't easy at all. Wahlberg started dating Rhea Durham in 2001. They had three children during the first seven years of their relationship and married on August 1st, 2009 at the Good Shepherd Catholic Church in Beverly Hills, near where they lived. They had another child five months after their wedding in January 2010. Wahlberg is Catholic and has described his religion as the most important part of his life. He goes to Mass twice on Sundays. 
He fervently supports same-sex marriage, despite the church's opposition. In September 2015, he apologized to Pope Francis over the crude jokes he made in the film Ted, and he stated in an interview with Cardinal Blasé Kupich of Chicago in 2017 that he sought forgiveness from God for playing a porn star in Boogie Nights. He later stated on Andy Cohen's radio show that the interview was a joke taken too seriously. In 2023, Wahlberg stated that the Christian practices of fasting and prayer during the Lenten season were meaningful to him as he discussed his Hallo Christian Prayer app. Wahlberg established the Mark Wahlberg Youth Foundation in May 2001 for the purpose of raising and distributing funds to youth service and enrichment programs. Wahlberg is active with the Good Shepherd Center for homeless women and children. In 2023, Wahlberg and his family moved from Hollywood to Las Vegas. Wahlberg was booked to fly on American Airlines Flight 11 on September 11, 2001, but his plans changed the day before and he cancelled his reservation. He received backlash for stating in a 2012 interview, if I was on that plane with my kids, it wouldn't have went down like it did. He added that there would have been a lot of blood in that first class cabin and then me saying, okay, we're going to land somewhere safely, don't worry. However, his statements at the expense of this situation came under fire of criticism. He said that if he was on board of this plane, he would defeat the terrorists and none of this would happen. He later regretted these statements and admitted that speculating about this tragic event was out of place. He issued an apology after family members of those killed on the flight expressed outrage. He acknowledged that his statements sounded as if the passengers on the plane were irresponsible and did not try to prevent anything. He apologized deeply to the victims and assured them that he did not want to sound disrespectful. Wahlberg is a co-owner of Wahlburgers, along with his brothers Donnie and Paul. It was Mark's idea to expand Paul's restaurant in Hingham. In July 2013, Wahlberg bought an equity interest of the Barbados Trident's cricket team. Wahlberg was introduced to the game by his friend Ajmal Khan, the club's chairman and Caribbean Premier League founder. Following the announcement, Wahlberg stated, I am a huge cricket fan now. I'm excited to be a part of the Limacol Caribbean Premier League because I know cricket is huge in the Caribbean and a rich part of the region's heritage. Sports and entertainment are a powerful combination and the LCPL will appeal to a huge audience worldwide. In 2015, Wahlberg recruited rapper Sean Combs and billionaire Ronald Burkle to join him in investing in Aquahydrate, a bottled water brand Wahlberg discovered. Together, the three men own a majority stake in the company. Wahlberg, together with former GNC executive Tom Dowd, co-founded Performance Inspired, a sports nutrition company launched in 2016. In February 2017, Wahlberg was one of the investors who took part in a $6 million funding round for StockX, a sneaker resale marketplace. In March 2019, Wahlberg bought a stake in the F45 fitness franchise. On July 20, 2018, Wahlberg and his business partner Jay Feldman announced the purchase of Bobby Lehman Chevrolet in Columbus, Ohio. The dealership was renamed Mark Wahlberg Chevrolet. Due to the success of the dealership, local ABC affiliate WSYX reported in March 2020 that Haydesey Buick GMC, right across the street from Mark Wahlberg Chevrolet, had filed paperwork with Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose to rename itself Mark Wahlberg Buick GMC. Feldman later confirmed that he and Wahlberg were purchasing their second General Motors dealership in the city. The deal became official on June 29, 2020, and also included Hadesi's Airstream and RV dealership, located next door at the car dealership's former Oldsmobile showroom. Shortly afterward, Wahlberg and Feldman announced they were purchasing Jack Maxton Chevrolet in nearby Worthington, Ohio, their fourth Columbus area dealership, with plans to rename it Mark Wahlberg Chevrolet of Worthington. 
A fifth dealership, Mark Wahlberg Chevrolet of Avon, was added in Avon, Ohio in July 2021. Unlike the other dealerships, the Avon location is in Greater Cleveland, marking Wahlberg and Feldman's entry into Northeast Ohio. In 2021, Wahlberg, along with his producing partner manager Stephen Levinson, launched Ballers Report, an online platform and spin-off of their HBO series Ballers, that features inspiring business entertainment and sports articles, videos and podcasts. In 2021, he invested in the tequila brand Fletcher Azul. In 2023, Wahlberg became chief brand officer for F45 training. The story of Mark Wahlberg's journey to stardom from his childhood delinquency to megastar actor shows how the actor made a difference to overcome his mishaps and wrongdoings. Although he had a very rocky and bad start, his indomitable spirit left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape and elevated him to soaring heights of fame. Well, there you have it, folks. Do you think that because Mark Wahlberg changed his lifestyle, he deserves forgiveness for the mishaps from when he was young? Or did you remember any of your favorite scenes from him while watching this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you like the video, you'll love the one showing on your screen right now. Click now and we'll see you in the next one.